Welcome, followers of the enigmatic and the obscure, to the secret scriptorium. Today, our journey through the hidden corridors of history brings us to the city of Chicago in the late 19th century. We unravel the chilling tale of the infamous murder castle. Herman Webster Mudgett, infamously known as H.H. H. Holmes, is a figure of notorious significance in the annals of American crime history. Recognized as one of the country's first documented serial killers, Holmes's dark exploits continue to send shivers down the spine of anyone familiar with his story. Holmes was born in 1861 in New Hampshire and demonstrated high intellectual ability from an early age. He pursued a medical degree at the University of Michigan, where his sinister side began to manifest. He was involved in several scams, including stealing cadavers from the medical lab to stage fake accidents for insurance claims. His malicious creativity reached its terrifying peak in Chicago, where he designed and built a hotel that was later dubbed the Murder Castle. This building, reportedly filled with a complex network of rooms, hidden passages, soundproof chambers, and trap doors, was his primary venue for committing heinous crimes. The Murder Castle was constructed in anticipation of the World's Columbian Exposition in 1893. Visitors looking for lodging flocked to Holmes' hotel, completely unaware of the danger lurking within its walls. The number of his victims remains uncertain, though estimates range from 20 to potentially over 200, with his victims mainly consisting of young women. Holmes' reign of terror ended in 1894 when he was arrested for an unrelated insurance fraud scheme. However, during the investigation, the authorities uncovered evidence of his far more horrific crimes. He was eventually convicted for multiple murders and executed in 1896. In contemporary culture, the story of H.H. H. Holmes has been explored in various forms of media, with books, documentaries, and movies delving into his life and crimes. His tale often serves as a grim reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the guise of charm and intelligence. Symbolically, Holmes might represent the extreme perversion of intellect and creativity, demonstrating how such attributes, when divorced from empathy and morality, can lead to unthinkable horrors. His case also underscores the importance of scrutiny and skepticism, particularly in situations where appearances can be deceiving. From a psychological standpoint, Holmes could be seen as an embodiment of a psychopath, exhibiting traits such as superficial charm, manipulativeness, and a lack of remorse. His case has been studied by criminal psychologists and criminologists, contributing to our understanding of criminal pathology. In conclusion, H.H. H. Holmes' dark legacy, marked by cunning deception and chilling brutality, has left an indelible mark on American crime history. His life and crimes offer not only a sobering study of a criminal mastermind, but also a cautionary tale about the human capacity for evil hidden behind a veneer of respectability. Today, the site of the murder castle serves as a post office, but the dark legacy of H.H. H. Holmes still lingers in the annals of American crime. As we leave behind the chilling tale of Holmes, we're reminded that history holds not only tales of triumph, but also narratives of humanity's darkest side. Stay tuned to the secret scriptorium as we continue to explore the hidden facets of our past. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.